Hello! This video illustrates the user-generated documents feature, which Andreas Weigel, a student from Germany, has been able to contribute under my mentorship to the MIFOSX open source microfinance platform as part of the Google Summer of Code program. So follow up to an earlier screencast I had done where we demoed the template service backend API. Today we are able to show the UI. Let's get started. I log in to the Mifos X reference UI, usual UID. Um, you might have heard that we also have uh, an AngularJS UI in the works by the Mifos community, user generated documents. Google Summer of Code project was done in the current classic EI UI. Uh, notice how I'm doing this demo on the demo OpenMF org demo server. I no longer have to use localhost, at least for this part of the demo. Um, with this mode dev toggle here, which is something we use for emerging beta features, the administration menu has a new entry, templates, that wasn't there before Google Summer of Code. In here, we have a list of currently available templates. Um, our intention is that uh, this will be a library of examples that will ship with me for sex out of the box in the future. For the moment, let me show you how this works by creating a, a brand new one from scratch, just as an example. So we'll call this the template for client. We can build them for client or loans, or effectively for any other um, entity if you know the API. We're currently using this for user generated documents. In the future, we can imagine this feature being used for maybe outgoing SMSs or other uh, places and features where we need to be able to uh, you build templates. Let's call this the video demo template, video demo, just like this. Down here you see a Wysiwyg editor. I can do something like hello client full name by clicking here. Welcome to, welcome to your MFI name, something like this. Your account number, number is, let's say something like this. What you can notice is we have a Wysiwyg editor here. We've got these placeholders here. In a sense, this feature works like mail merge. These placeholders will be filled in um, at runtime by the respective data from the client um, API call. We can do formatting here, like making certain things bold or underlined or whatever you like. Um, we save this for a second. See how this works. If you now, now go to a client over here, there's a new tab that shows up template documents. Clicking on this, there's a small bug I'll switch over, which hasn't made it to the um, demo server. This is actually fixed. So I'll switch over to a localhost server just because of this bug. Um, going over here into template documents. And we're seeing the templates we defined. If we say video demo, you can see this template running here. Uh, I think there's a field was misnamed here. Um, what uh, we can do with these mappers, you might remember from our first video, is that we can access and aggregate data from various different REST API calls, Mifos X or other. Let me go back over here, the administration templates, looking back at this one. And you'll see now um, this advanced option is shown. This wasn't there before, just because it was hidden with this. If you click here, it shows up. What this actually says is that this client that I'm accessing here with client, um, this should be display name, I think, then it will work. With client.display name or client.account number is nothing else than the result from an API call to the client's client ID, um, Mifos X API. What you can do here is add other ones, just for the sake of an example, not hopefully confusing anyone here by making this too complicated, but you might remember in the previous demo there was a, an example of some other API. Let me try this like this. If I go in here and say, for example, we have some weather API somewhere, just for the sake of example, I can then do things here like the temp in Bangalore, for example, because that's where I'm calling it from right here, is, come on, is, and then I just do these tags that mean now get data from something we called. And I think I have to say weather main temp here. Weather main temp, oops, temp. Then I could do something like this. Let's see if this works. I'll save this. Go back over here to this one. 
And look, it's actually called, um, showing here two data from the Mifos X backend and a data from the public weather service API. In practice, you might use this more to combine data from client and loan, and maybe administrative tables, loan officers, phone numbers, God knows what you want to put in these templates. Um, we have an example that illustrates a bit better. Um, the one that we've built out most completely is the loan schedule example. Yeah. Looking at this one here. So this one has um, loan data. You can do loan dot, yeah, all of the fields on loan. Then it has client. So you can do client dot clients fields. It's interesting here is that the client is loaded from the loan dot client ID. So the mappers are in order and you can have dependencies between them. First it'll load the loan from this API call here, into loan. It'll then load the client from the loan.client ID. And then we also have something special here for image, um, because this thing here allows you to show image source, uh, the photo of the client. Um, beyond these three mappers and the image here, there is a number of other cool things that this illustrates. For example, we have a table down here. Um, this is more clear if you look at the source code, like this like this, because these templates are nothing else than HTML. You don't have to know programming, you don't have to know JavaScript. Mm -hmm. You can just write HTML and have some placeholders in there. Um, for a table, there's this thing you can do with this one here. So this means the loans repayment schedule periods are iterated and one line is generated with period, due date, principal dispersed for each uh, repayment schedule period we find in the response. Um, Something else we can do is date formatting. This thing here formats the date we get back from Reforce X uh, backend in a format that might not be suitable for display in a year month date view. What this, uh, how this looks like in practice, I'll maximize. When I run this template, so here I'm in the administrative UI, remember, administration templates. I go looking at an actual loan of this gentleman here in here. So the example loan schedule is a document right here. Clicking on this, it runs on the server. Small bug here with the image that should show up here. And we have a number of fields filled in. Um, some fields here have not been correctly defined. Um, that's easy to fix, of course. And we have the list of installments down here in the table from the iteration. Uh, I'm not going to make this longer. Uh, keep it brief and, and, um, and short and sweet, as we say. I hope that this feature will make um, it's easier to pull data out of MIFOS X for microfinance institutions. Thank you, Andreas, for having built this for MIFOS X. Thank you very much, Google, for a summer of code program. MIFOS ends poverty one line, a quarter, one line of code at a time. Will you help us too? Thank you for watching.